So here we are in the first week of August in the Woodland Garden and suddenly there's a whole new genus which is coming into flower now and which is really rather exciting. This is Clethra tomentosa and it's the first representative of the Clethra genus which we're going to look at today. This is an American species um, from the southern states of America. It's a suckering plant and you can see how it's putting up suckers and expanding into a great big clump. It's tough as old boots and grows to about six, around about six feet. And it flowers in the end, towards the end of summer with lovely white flowers. And here we've got another species of Clethra with an attractive pink flower. This is Clethra alnifolia pink spire. And the flowers are really quite red in bud and they're opening out to a light pink fading off to, to white. Very floriferous, most of the flowers come out at the same time. Rather more floppy bush, a single stemmed bush um, coming uh, from, from the United States, uh, sorry, not coming from the United States on this occasion, coming, coming from China, but this is a bred and improved form. Rather floppy habit, as you can see here, with one woody stem, but a very nice thing for your garden in August. And this is a completely new Clethra species to us, Clethra kaipoensis. It's the first time it's flowered in the garden of Cahays and it's got long racemes of white flowers, not nearly as dense a raceme as we've seen in the other two species we've looked at. It has lovely reddish new growth and it's extremely vigorous. And look at the lovely bark that it's got too. Now that we've got some decent flowers, hopefully we'll have some seed off this plant this autumn and be able to propagate it and include it in the Burn Coos catalogue. It's certainly an interesting new species, a collector's item at the moment, but something that will look great in a summer flowering herbaceous border or in the woodland garden as here today. This is the fourth species of Clethra which we're going to look at today. This is Clethra monostaca. It was discovered by Ernest Wilson in China in 1903 and today we have a plant of this which was planted 20 years ago which is about 20 feet tall and about 15 feet wide so it's a big shrub or almost a small tree. Here we've got a young plant uh, which is just finishing flowering and about to set a plethora of seeds. White flowers in longish multiple racemes all appearing from the tip of the growing point. Um, not such nice bark here but a very floriferous young tree. Still quite rare but something we're bringing into cultivation and you should find in the Burn catalogue in a year or two.